U.S. President Donald Trump has ordered the FBI to investigate the judge who wants to put on the U.S. Supreme Court. The decision is the culmination of two days of congressional drama triggered by sexual assault allegations against Brett Kavanaugh. Suji Tian's Owen Furcloth reports. It's a stunning turnaround in a story that has polarized and already divided America even more. Donald Trump insisted there was no need to investigate Brett Kavanaugh further the second conservative judge he wanted to nominate to the U.S. Supreme Court and shape it for the next generation, potentially. But Kavanaugh's confirmation has been upended after university professor Christine Blasey Ford testified in front of lawmakers on Thursday that Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her in 1982 when they were both high school students. He took the stand immediately afterwards after Dr. Ford to deny these allegations repeatedly and emotionally. And that was initially good enough for Trump Kavanaugh had already been vetted as part of this process, but just, at, but just before senators resumed the confirmation hearings on Friday, this happened. What you are doing is allowing someone who actually violated a woman to sit in the Supreme Court. This is not tolerable. You have children in your family. Think about them. I have two children. I cannot imagine that for the next 50 years, they will have to have someone in the Supreme Court who has been accused of violating a young girl. That was Senator Jeff Blake, a dissenting Republican who's been a thorn in, a thorn in Trump's side, confronted by two female pro protesters because he supported Kavanaugh's nomination. Blake is a crucial swing vote in this process, and he threw a spanner in the confirmation process by telling fellow Republican lawmakers who dominate the Senate Judiciary Committee he wanted a change of course. The Democrats who have been, I think, justifiably uncomfortable moving ahead uh, could could publicly, in an effort to bring this country together, um, say that we would feel better. I'm not expecting them to vote yes, but not to complain that an FBI investigation has not occurred. And, and I, I, that, this is what I'm trying to do. This, this country is being ripped apart here. Ripped apart. That was the turning point in this process that led Trump to call for an FBI inquiry into Kavanaugh. It's limited to a week and limited only to what is called, called credible current allegations. But it does delay a full Senate vote that already hung in the balance. Republicans need a majority to confirm Kavanaugh. But there are other dissenting Republicans who could yet sink Kavanaugh's nomination. Well, this drama has played out amid protests galvanized by the Me Too movement and its demands for greater accountability over historic allegations of sexual assaults against women. And whatever the outcome of Kavanaugh's confirmation process, it's clear that even the highest court in the United States is not immune to this social movement. Back to you.